So as of right now, you're probably asking one of two questions. Number one, why is this woman covering her face with an owl onesie hood? Because like this, I look like one of the Volturi from Twilight, that's why. And when you have it like this, you can't really see the main attraction, which is this adorable ass face. So let's just keep it right about there. You're also probably wondering why I look like I got punched in both my eyes. Well, that's because I just washed my face and not all of my makeup came off because I'm going to be doing a face mask with you guys here on camera. And now to answer the question that I'm pretty sure is on everyone's mind, why the fuck is this bitch in a fucking owl onesie? Well, it's because I have a cold, I don't feel good, and all I feel like being wrapped up in right now is this material because it feels fucking amazing. And plus, I'm an adult, so I will dress myself how the fuck I want to. So yeah, bite me if you don't like it. So like I said, today's video is going to be my Fuck This Shit Friday, which by the way, I want to give full credit to the Leela Beauty here on YouTube. Leela watched my last Fuck This Shit Friday or my last Why Do People Do This Shit video. And she's like, you should totally name this Fuck This Shit Friday. I'm like, that is completely appropriate. I was calling it Why Do People Do This Shit, but honestly, this is more like a Fuck This Shit Friday kind of vibe because a lot of things I talk about are things that just piss me off. So I think we should all give Leela a round of applause. Okay, I'll stop. Because that honestly, was like the best thing I could have ever had this thing named. So thank you, Leela Beauty. You're fucking amazing. I love you. So let's just get into the mask part first. So the mask I'm going to be using is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. This is for all skin types. It says it's a dual action purifying mask, which my face, as you can tell, needs to be purified. I honestly love this stuff. I love all the Freeman Beauty masks. I think they're incredible. And at one point in time, I had like the entire collection of them. But ever since I moved from Florida, I have no idea where the fuck those things went. So this is the one we're gonna roll with for today. So basically what this mask does is it kind of just gets all the shit out of your face that kind of builds up over time. This unique mask and scrub works double time to detox skin. First, naturally purifying activated charcoal helps absorb oil and impurities without over drying. Then black sugar helps exfoliate away dulling skin cells for softness and clarity. Perfect for all skin types. So this is the thing we're gonna do today. Let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and just massage this onto the face like it says. the hood down because I don't want any of this to get on my onesie but let's go ahead and get started with this fuck this shit Friday shall we the first thing I'm pretty sure everyone has experienced at one point in their lives or another I fucking hate when you say thank you to somebody or you do something for somebody like open a door and they walk past you and don't say you're welcome or thank you for whatever you did like fuck me and my manners right <laughs> I just opened this door for you. I could have very easily just walked in and just slammed the door in your face like an asshole, but I didn't do that. I literally held the door open for you or helped you do something or whatever the case may be and you have the audacity and the fucking nerve to not say thank you or you're welcome. Like, get the fuck out of my face, dude. I am that petty ass person who will very, very loudly say you're welcome or thank you to you. Even though you don't say shit back to me, you rude ass bitch. This next one honestly is more about myself than anybody else, but if you're someone like this, please let me know down below that I'm not alone. I absolutely hate it when I go to pick up something that I've already dropped and I keep fucking dropping it. Like, I've had times where I've dropped something, like, maybe three or four times while trying to pick the goddamn thing up, and I don't know why. I give up, honestly, after the third or fourth time, because clearly it's in the universe that I'm not supposed to pick up this shit. Like, I don't need this shit, so I just leave it there on the floor. But I get so mad at myself. I get so angry at myself for allowing this thing to fucking drop out of my hands this many times. It's embarrassing. I hate when people will go out of their way to call me for something that could have easily been texted. I'm a very busy person and quite frankly, I'm not on my phone all the time. I'm always doing something like filming or editing or whatever. So I hate it when people will call me to tell me, like my husband sometimes will call me and tell me he's gonna be home in five minutes. Why do you need to call me to tell me that? Like, w you could have just as easily just texted me that or have just shown up five minutes later. I would have been okay with it. Like. Before I get into this next one, I understand this is about other people's bodies, but it infuriates me when I see this shit. I get so angry when I see women smoking cigarettes when they're visibly very, very pregnant. Like, I understand it's their bodies, they can do what they want to it, but in those nine months or however many months they're pregnant, they're not the only ones who are ingesting that nasty shit. On that same subject, I fucking hate people who will sit out in front of the entrances of stores and cloud the entire fucking area with their nasty ass cigarette smoke. And it's not only stores that have this issue, because I've gone to restaurants where people have engulfed everyone in their cigarette smoke while waiting for a fucking table and it annoys the shit out of me. 
If I wanted to smell like your nasty ass cigarette, I would go buy my own cigarettes and inject myself with that nasty shit, but obviously I don't like that. And I'm pretty sure the parents of these little kids that you're also engulfing in this nasty shit don't appreciate it either. And it makes me even more mad when there are signs posted everywhere saying this is not a smoking zone, but these asshats sit lighting up their fucking cigarettes without a fucking care in the world. I absolutely hate it when I go to visit with someone I haven't seen in a while and their faces are stuck in their goddamn phone while I'm trying to talk to them. I did not waste all this time driving to see you. I didn't waste all this time putting this makeup on to get dressed to go out to dinner with you or whatever the case may be. I did not waste all this time just to sit here while you're on your phone when I'm talking to you. Like, if I make plans with you, it's because I genuinely want to fucking hang out with you and know what's going on in your life, like, catch up with you. Yet it seems like almost everybody in this generation can't get their fucking faces out of their goddamn phones for more than five seconds. For fear of missing out on the latest breakup fucking news or some shit, I don't fucking know, it just, it's, an, it's so annoying to me. Not to mention it makes me feel like you're just not fucking interested in seeing me at all. Like we just wasted all this time making all these plans to see each other and here you are talking to God knows who doing God knows what on your goddamn phone and just ignoring me. Like I honestly am the person who will walk away from you. Like I don't give a fuck if we're in the middle of eating. I'll leave my fucking money on the table for my half the shit and I will leave. I just I don't do that shit. We're getting close to our five to seven minute time, so I'm gonna go ahead and just end it with this last one. I used to hate it when people used to come into my job and tell me how to do my job, like customers more specifically. It used to burn my balls when people used to tell me how to fucking do my job, like I don't do the same shit every fucking goddamn day. Like, thank you, Susan. I didn't know you are supposed to fucking price check all these fucking items before putting them on the goddamn shelf. I used to love clapping back at these kind of people because I would just be like, did you hire me? Did I meet the wrong manager? Oh, you're not. Okay, then shut the fuck up. All right, so I washed the mask off. My face feels really, really smooth. I really like this a lot. If you've never tried Freeman Beauty products, I really suggest trying them out. They're really, really good. I find mine at Walmart for like two or three dollars a piece. They're really, really inexpensive, but they're so good for the price. All right, guys, so that's about it for Fuck This Shit Friday Part 3, Episode 3. I'm gonna go get this fucking onesie off because I didn't think it would be this hot, honestly. But with all these lights on and how warm it is outside, considering it's fucking winter right now, I can kind of see why it's really, really hot. I am like overheating. My face is fucking red. My chest is fucking red. Like I can't wait to get out of this shit. If you liked this Fuck This Shit Friday, of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. If you guys have some topics you want me to discuss in my future Fuck This Shit Fridays, let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.